my name is Melissa Hurt, and in this video I'm going to show you a pose that I love. It's Pyramid Pose, also known as Intense Side Angle. So I'm going to start in Mountain Pose, as I always do for all my standing poses. Feel your feet, get familiar with your arches, grounding down, feeling your breath free and easy. And then I'll place my hands on my hips. I'm going to keep my right toes uh, facing straight ahead. And then I'll step back the left leg. And I want to feel my hips are somewhat still facing forward. It's okay if they're slightly on the diagonal. Let your pelvis tell you a safe placement for your feet. But you do want to feel long in the low back and balanced in the hips. I'm going to activate my front heel, my right heel down, and towards the midline of my mat, so my front thigh rolls out. The back heel is grounding down and towards the outside of my mat, so my back thigh rolls in. So front thigh rolls out, back thigh rolls in. Hands on my hips, feeling my breath, a little bit of softness in that front knee as I explore folding from the hips to come forwards. Stay here. You're feeling an opening perhaps in the back of the front leg, maybe feeling it in the hips. We're strengthening and stabilizing the legs here. Keep your feet active. Keep the crown of your head in line with your tailbone. And then from here, if you like, you can place your hands on blocks or onto the floor, bringing your torso more towards your front leg, releasing the head. That's optional if that doesn't feel good for you today. You can just keep your hands on your hips. To come up, we're going to breathe in, ground through that front leg as you come to rise up. We'll just pivot on our feet to do the other side. You'll do the first side for about three to five breaths, depending on how you're feeling today. So again, front heel grounds down, goes towards the midline of my mat, so my front thigh rolls out. Back heel grounds down and towards the long side of my mat, so the back thigh rolls in. Hands on my hips, a little softness in that front knee as I fold forward, feeling the length of my spine. Again, you can breathe here for three to five full breaths. If you like, you can always go a little bit deeper Bringing the hands to the floor or to blocks, releasing the head down, but again, that's optional. You don't have to do that. But keep your feet active. That's the most important thing. Your legs are still working in these standing poses. Take a breath in to rise up. Come back to mountain pose. There you have it. Pyramid pose. I love it. So good to strengthen the hips and the legs. If you like this video, please share it with your friends, comment below, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of fun videos for you. And thank you so much for practicing pyramid pose with me. Be well.